Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to sit down with you guys and share with you my current pen case and give you a little tour of what I keep inside it. I recently got this new pen case from The Superior Labor. I've been wanting this pen case for a couple months now and it's been sold out in the stores I've seen and I was able to get my hands on it from a store online called Cute Things from Japan at a sale price actually, which was very unexpected, but really appreciated and super cool. And when I saw it was available after waiting for months, I decided to just go ahead and grab it, even though it is a bit of a pricey pen case. And it was definitely a treat yourself moment. And I thought I would show you guys everything I keep in it in case you're curious to see what my current journaling and kind of writing essentials are at the moment. So that is what we're gonna do today. Just a fun little pen case tour to show you guys all the stationery that I like to keep on me at all times. So these are all of my essentials, ride or dies, uh, any of those kind of variations of that term. So in case you're curious about the pencil case I use, I'll first go into the case itself and what this guy is. This is a utility case by the brand The Superior Labor. It is pretty expensive because the entire case, as you can see, is leather. So, you know, you're paying for this beautiful, I believe it's new buck leather, and also the inside has a very uh, unique and kind of intricate structure that, you know, also I imagine takes time and effort to make. So it is more expensive, but what really sold me on this was previously I'd owned a lot of covers by the Superior Lever. I have two for my current ASICS journal that I absolutely love. I have had them for over a year now, so I had experience in seeing how the leather ages and how durable it was and I was really happy with how the leather was holding up in my covers. So I kind of had an idea of how this leather would fare. And I also really loved the inside of the pen case. So I will get into the inside once I open up the case, but I wanted to share kind of my thought process when going ahead and purchasing this because I didn't just kind of buy this randomly. It was something I thought about a lot and I did at the end of the day treat myself for sure, but it wasn't a, uh, or it was a premeditated purchase if you want to call it that. So enough about this utility case. That's what it's called, by the way, if I forgot to mention the name. Uh, last thing though, this is the light brown leather. So it does come in a couple colors. It comes in natural leather, dark brown leather, and black, but I wanted the light brown. So that is the color I got. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up the pen case so you can see everything I keep inside. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and opened the case. And as you can see, it's organized with pens on the right and this kind of slip pocket here. And then a big zipper pouch on the left, which is where I keep all of my other tools, excluding, you know, pens and all the stuff that I keep over here. And I really love this layout. This is part of why I really wanted to get this pen case. I just find this works really well for the supplies that I use most often. And yeah, it just works really well with what I like to bring around with me. So I'll start and go into this side first and show you all of the pens and pencils and other stuff that I use. Okay, so the first item that I keep in here is this hand clip. This is just in case I need to hold down some paper or I'm at kind of the end of the notebook so it's hard for the paper to sit flat. I like to keep this around just in case I need it and I just keep it slipped into the front of the pocket here. Underneath the clip, I have my ruler. 
which is transparent, so I think my camera's struggling to focus on it because of that, but this is a ruler I've had for years now. It's from Muji. It's one of those rulers that opens up like this and you get, I believe, a full 30 centimeters width. And yeah, it's in centimeters because I live in Canada, so we don't really use inches here. And I like how it can fold together and then I can just keep it in the pouch, which is awesome. Next, I have one of my favorite pens. This one is the Sarasa Grand in brown gray. And the Sarasa Grand is the version that comes with the metal body. So I just swap out the refill for the brown gray ink with this pen. I don't buy a new pen every single time. And uh, yeah, this guy's really good. And in case you were curious, these are the refills I buy for it. So they just look like this. I get mine from Paper Plus Cloth. I just stock up on five at a time and I'll just swap out the refill once I run out, but love this pen. In fact, I love it so much that I have not one, but two of these pens, even though this body is different. This is the limited edition Energel Pikachu version. The actual refill itself is also the Sarasa Grand in brown gray because that is the pen I use most often. I use it in all my journals. It is my favorite ink ever. And I like to have two pens because sometimes I'll put a pen just in the notebook I'm using. So if I'm doing that, I like to have another one in my pen case, just in case I've left that notebook somewhere and I'm too lazy to go get it. So then I have another one. And I also just really like the design of both these pens for different reasons, so. That's also why I keep them in here. The next pen I keep in here is my only brush pen. You're gonna probably start to see a trend with the color. I don't use black pens, I only use brown pens. I started that halfway through this year, I think, and I converted myself. I just find brown is a little softer on the eyes and I prefer it just for my everyday writing, so. I also have a matching brown brush pen, which is super cool. This is by Pilot and it's really great because it has a very like stiff and small nib size. It's very comparable to the Tombow Fudonosuke hard tip pen, but I like the color of this one better than the brown version of the Tombow pen. This color is called Cephia and it's a very dark brown, so it matches really well with these two pens. Okay, the last thing I keep in here is my, one of my two erasers, which I need to buy a refill for. But this one I like because it's just a smaller size. It's kind of, teeny and sometimes if I'm drawing out a calendar or something and I want to erase a number, it's a bit easier to get at it from this guy versus my bigger eraser. So I like to keep that as well. Okay, so now we are moving in to the bigger pocket. And this is partially why I wanted this case. A lot of pen cases that I saw available had this kind of pen slot on either side, which is really cool. But for me, I don't really carry a lot of pens around. I actually carry a lot of like other tools, like you'll see glue sticks and tape rollers and things that you wouldn't slip into a pocket like this necessarily. So that's why I really loved this kind of zip pocket with pen sleeve combination, especially with this case. So. That's part of why I also bought this pen case, is I really love the layout inside. Okay, so let's see what I have in here. So first thing, I have a tape runner. This one is by Elmer's. I usually just buy whatever is available at the craft store. And they didn't have Tombow last time, so I got this one. I need to get a new one because it's almost done, but yeah, tape runner. I have my scissors. 
So these are just some, I believe they're technically embroidery scissors. They're pretty small and they're very sharp. And I just found this by the sewing machine in my house. So they're not like winning any beauty contests, but they get the job done. I have my jumbo glue stick, which no longer twists up and down because it's almost out. So I eventually need to get a new one, but I'm just using this till it runs out. And uh, I use this a lot in my journal because I'll glue down my moon phases from my Sora calendar. So I like to use glue to adhere them because I find because they're like a circle shape, it's a bit hard to get all the uh, edges with a tape runner. I have my eraser. This is the Stadler Mars plastic eraser. I've tried a bunch of erasers and I find this one doesn't leave weird smudge marks on the paper, so that's why I like this one. I have a set of sticky notes. These ones are from Stationery Pal. And then lastly, this is a pastry bag. This is from one of the cafes in Toronto that I like to go to. It's called AOK -OK Cafe and I just love the little dog on the front with the croissant. It just, it's too good. And I repurposed it and I use it to store my Midori index clips, which look like this. They're these little brass tabs that kind of look like that. And I use them in all my journals to, as a page marker. So sometimes if I need to mark a new page, I can take these out and use them. So one thing I wanted to mention that I don't keep in here right now is my pencil. So I do have this pencil. It's just a uh, regular Stadler HB pencil. And I don't keep this in my pencil case because I don't have anything to cover the lead right now. So I don't want it rubbing on the inside of the fabric lining. So for now I just keep it outside. but. I did want to mention I'm thinking of either buying one of those pen caps I believe Blackwing makes or I might even just get the Traveler's Company brass pencil which seems a little expensive and I want to do some more research into if the pencil quality is that good but if it is good that might be a good option too because that one actually covers the pencil itself and I looked it up and there are stores in Toronto that actually sell the pencil refills so it won't be hard to buy new ones if I need to to refill the pencil but yeah that's kind of the two options I'm thinking as either to work with this or replace this so just wanted to mention that since I do use my pencil quite a lot in my everyday life and that is all the items that I keep in this pen case I do use other things every day, like my journal, obviously. I also use my Sora calendar quite a lot for checking the date, but also I love pasting that in my journal. So technically not things that I keep in my pen case, but there are a couple other essentials out there, but all the items in this pen case are items that I bring around the house with me when I'm working and when I'm journaling and I always have this pen case with my journal at all times. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the items that I like to carry around, all of my essentials. Let me know what your essential journaling and writing items are below. Also, if you have a glue stick recommendation, that would be cool because I'm thinking of buying a new one. And if you've tried the Midori or Traveler's Company brass pencil, and if you have it, let me know if you like it because I'm trying to decide if it's 
too expensive for what it is or if it's worth it or I should just get a Blackwing pencil cap, which is also $20, which also seems a bit overpriced, but I digress. I will figure it out, but if you do have one of those pencils, let me know and tell me how you like it. Okay guys, so that is kind of the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.